What up? It's Luke for Prez back again. I am here with another video. Today I am going to walk you through exactly how to set up a retargeting campaign for Facebook slash Instagram ads. This is the type of ad that has been most profitable for me out of any type of Facebook slash Instagram ad that I have tried. And I have tried many. You can see I have a number of campaigns that are now shut off because all they did was lose me money. But the one that is still on is my retargeting campaign. It definitely doesn't sustain my business just from this, but it's just one of the many supplementary factors at play that contribute to the overall amount of sales that I get and is just best practice when it comes to digital marketing. Like you definitely want a retargeting campaign popping off. For those who may not know, a retargeting campaign is basically just targeting people that have already visited your website. So people that have landed on your site are the only ones that are going to be seeing this campaign. It's not a first impression, it's a second impression. It's a reminder. Oh, hey, you checked out these beats a couple days ago. Don't forget to come back and purchase them. So let's dive into exactly how to get this thing set up and uh, you know popping off for your beat business. The first thing that you're going to need is to make sure that your Facebook pixel is installed properly on your website. If you have a BeatStars Pro page, uh, then it's a very easy process to set up. I will link to a video that BeatStars has that walks you through exactly how to set up your Facebook pixel on your website. So I'm not gonna spend time on that today. This is assuming you've already done that, you're already ready to go, maybe you've already run some ads, and I'll show you exactly how to do the retargeting. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is click on these three lines here next to where it says Ads Manager. You're gonna go over to All Tools. Before we can get started creating the ads, we have to make sure that we have the audience selected that we want to target. So you're gonna go over to Audience, Create Audience. You're going to select Custom Audience, and now it's going to ask you to pick which source this audience is coming from. You can upload a, an email list. You can do all these other options that we're not gonna get into. You wanna click on website. The next step is to select the pixel for your website. So make sure, when it comes to Facebook ads, it's very important that everything is clearly labeled because there's a lot of moving parts and it's easy to forget what's what. So you know, make sure you name your pixel something that's easy to remember that you're not gonna get confused with something else. So once you have that pixel selected, the default is already set to all website visitors in the past 30 days. So you can change this, you can do whatever you want. I typically leave it in last 30 days, but you can experiment. And you have a bunch of options. Not only can you just target everyone that has been to your site in this amount of time, you can target people who have visited specific pages, the amount of time people spent on the site, people that actually added something to their cart, people that have actually purchased. If you have a special offer just for purchasers, for instance, maybe you offer mixing and mastering services and you want to target people that have already bought your beats, that might be something to think about. But for this example and for what I actually do in real life, I use um, all website visitors. Make sure you name it something. I'm just gonna name this one test for the sake of the video and then click create audience. Boom, it's already created. It might take a few minutes to actually populate because it needs to pull the data from your pixel. But as soon as it says ready, and usually it will say ready right away, you're ready to go. Once you have the audience created and selected to your website visitors, you wanna go back to the ads manager. From this screen, you wanna click on this green button that says create. And this is where you're going to create a new campaign. So select conversions, name it something. I'm gonna just say retargeting test for the sake of this video. 
Now you can select your daily budget. The cool thing with retargeting is unless you're getting like a ridiculously large amount of traffic to your website, you can keep the budget very, very small and you'll probably be able to hit everyone that has visited your site in the last 30 days. So for me, mine is set to $2 a day. And you can make it, you know, a little more, a little less, whatever. Leave bid strategy the same. Don't touch any of these advanced options. Um, you can, like, if you if you want to get really in depth into Facebook ads, you can try a bunch of different things. I'm just showing you like the most basic setup possible with the least amount of variables at play, just to keep it s hopefully simple for for this video. Next up, you have gone from the campaign level down to the ad set level. An ad set is a group of ads that have a specific audience attached to them with specific factors that you dial in on this page to basically hone in on exactly who you want to target. So the first thing you want to do is give your ad set a name. Sometimes you might have several different ad sets running at once, which makes naming them even more important make sure your pixel is selected and now you want to this is a really important part you want to select the conversion event that you're looking to track so in my case that's purchases you want the ads to track every time somebody purchases after seeing your ad so you know exactly what you're doing uh, you can leave dynamic creative off for now offer off okay now you're at the audience section custom audiences is already here all you want to do is click in this box and your custom audiences and lookalike audiences will come up all the ones that you've already created for you there's probably only going to be one assuming this is your first campaign so I'm just going to click our test one that we just created. So now it's set up to where the only people that are going to be seeing this ad that we're creating are from this custom audience, which in this case is your website visitors. This stuff you usually want to dial in like, you know, you want to hone in on an age group better than just 18 to 65. But in the case of retargeting campaigns, you don't have to worry about this stuff because we're only targeting the people that have already been to your site. So just leave this as broad as possible. Detailed targeting. This is if you were you know, going to target cold traffic, you can add different interests and behaviors and things like that that you really want to dial in on. We're not going to worry about that because, again, the only variable that we're targeting right now is have they been to your website? And if the answer is yes, they're going to see this ad placement, leave placement on automatic. That's going to make sure that your ads are shown in the Facebook feed, the Instagram feed and in within stories and just all over the place. You can also manually select these, but I think it's better to let Facebook's algorithm optimize based on the results and how many people are clicking and how many people are purchasing. Facebook will automatically show your ad just in the different sections that actually make the most sense. Leave this for conversions, leave all this stuff the same, and then go ahead and click continue on to the next page here. This is going to bring you to the ad level. This is the fun part, basically. You get to create the look and feel of your ad in terms of the visuals, the text, and you get to be creative and figure out exactly what you think is going to get people to click on the ad. You can use a single video or single image. You can use a carousel, which is like a number of different images or videos together. Try different things, see what works best for you. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it simple and do like a one video ad. So here's where you type in the primary text, the headline, the description, uh, all this good stuff. What I'm going to do is switch on over to my actual ad so you can see what I've written here, which will hopefully give you a good idea of like, you know, the type of content to put. Okay, so here is my actual ad that's currently running. You can see what it actually looks like on the Facebook feed right here on the right. It's just a cool gift that I found and then a 30 second snippet of one of my beats. That's basically it. And you can experiment with different things. You can have just still images instead of videos. Try a bunch of stuff and see what works. There is no right answer. As you can see for the primary text, which is actually what appears next to the video, I have buy rap slash trap slash hip hop beats 
Download instantly, affordable lease options, huge selection, exclusive rights available. So I'm just like highlighting, you know, different key selling points about my beats. As you can see, I actually have multiple variations of text for the ad. I've actually turned on the dynamic creative option, which allows you to test different ad copy, different videos and such within the same ad. But don't worry about that for now. Um, just you know, worry about getting one up and running and then you can get more complicated with it later. This is where you put in a headline. So for my, for mine, it says professional rap beats for sale. Another one that I'm trying is find your hit at lukeforprezbeats.com. You can also select which call to action is present here. So I have it set for listen now. And then there's other options you can have like shop now or download. Again, try all the different stuff that you want and then see what works best and continue to dial it in and make adjustments and optimize as you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you have that all set, your ads will begin running and you will begin seeing the sales come in, assuming you have everything set up properly. Uh, I know it can seem overwhelming if this is your intro to Facebook ads, but once you spend some time in the ads manager, I promise it begins to make a lot more sense and it becomes a lot easier and more intuitive. Also keep in mind when you're doing this, experimentation is required. You're going to need to try a number of different variables, whether it's your ad copy or the images slash videos that you use. You're probably going to waste money at first. That's just a harsh reality of online ads. You need to spend money in order to make money. And so the first month or two months might not be profitable. It's about optimizing, trying different things and finding the right combination of factors that works for you and gets you to profitability. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to get a retargeting campaign set up on Facebook. And hopefully this tutorial wasn't too confusing for you because I know there's a lot of information. If you have any follow-up questions, feel free to write a comment below or hit me up on Instagram directly and I will be happy to help as best as I can. I'm trying to see everybody succeed and thrive off these beats. Let's get this money together. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.